Okay, so we're gonna load it up onto the truck. Today's the day after Hurricane Ian came through our place, but we're gonna load it on the truck so that we can uh, use it this weekend. All right, folks, so this is going to be my completed video. Uh, we're getting another rain band from Hurricane Ian. It's wrapping down from the, from the uh, north, but I want to do a quick video. I finally got it on the truck, and I realized uh, why the front is a touch higher than the back up here versus up here is because when I put the anchor point on, I put the 2x6 going across the front, and I... Uh, didn't expect it to go all the way to the rail, and it does. It did. So, anyway, here's the stairs and the door. One, two, three. They're not attached. When you come in to the right, we have. I'm just gonna sit down right here. Okay, so the right side is going to be where I put my plate, or excuse me, plates and pans and and uh, whatnot, all that stuff. Up here will be my cooking area. I have my lights. Actually, do my lights work? Yes, they do. I have some. Uh, A little battery powder there's the battery pack for the lights and they go all around the whole the whole camper um, so that's the little kitchen area and then this is one of the windows screen Oop. screen and and open completely one shelf up there for when I'm parked because I didn't block it in with anything which I probably will do. This is going to be for like silverware and remotes. Down here will be like canned goods and dry foods. Uh, I do have a, as you saw before, a three drawer thing for my clothes. My lights, another window over here. And then Back behind me is where the air conditioner sits. I did. I am going to take keep it down when I travel, obviously for obvious reasons that that way it doesn't fall. And a little hook for to hang stuff up. Now down below, I'm going to show you real fast. I have two little doors, one over there, one over here, and I'll show you this side. I got to get down low. Under here is my anchor points. I have a turnbuckle, and then I have it with a uh, heavy duty eye hook underneath. And look, I cannot even turn that anymore. So yeah, and then now that it's tight, put my little door on, latch it down, and I'm good to go. And then down here is just extra storage. Uh, that's where my my uh, stuff runs through, and then there's going to be that little hole over here on the right is going to be where I run my extension cord in, and then it'll go up through that hole, and then that'll give me space to uh, plug in the air conditioner and uh, TV, DVD, whatever I'm running for uh, electrical that will run to my little generator, which will be the little blue Westinghouse generator which I don't have in here right now just because I haven't loaded everything yet because it's still up in the air if we're going all right guys so I uh, thought I was done but uh, I've I'm not comfortable with a couple things and I'm making some changes so um, I haven't put out my final video yet but uh, I'm going to uh, do a few changes and um, well I'll show you now okay so the first thing I did since you couldn't see my license plate under there and if I run through toll booths and they do toll by plate I'm screwed so 
I moved my license plate in my truck up here for as long as this is on there. I even went to AutoZone and bought a LED and ran it into my uh, little, uh, what you call it, lights that go up there. So anytime my lights are on, then that, that light will be on, which is perfect. All right, guys and gals. So here is the uh, finish of the back. So like I showed, said before, I moved the license plate up, got a light on there, and I've got a little ledge over the light with some uh, little L brackets. Now, this was a little bit of a challenge just because I was reusing the wood. And there's a few little dings and cracks, but I don't care. Uh, so I still have the latch up here for the top, but this I'll have a lock opens this way and I've got like a plastic sealer that you put like around windows and stuff around doors sorry uh, there all the way around and then on the inside as well so that when I do shut it at night the cold air doesn't get out or go in you know what I mean because there is a little bit of a gap there but and then the top will, la will latch with that latch but I need to get some more clear uh, silicone so I can silicone these spots over. But don't really need that there anymore. But that's okay. So that's it. You know, honestly, the more I'm, I've got it on there, the more it doesn't look that bad. And uh, it'll serve its purpose when it's needed. Getting it on and off is going to be a challenge. So I'm going to try and devise a system to get it on and off, but I don't know yet. I'm working on that, uh, sliding it on and off. It's pretty darn heavy. So if I had to guess, I'd say, I don't know, four to 500 pounds, but no worries. Truck's running great. I got 18 to 19 miles per gallon on the highway uh, with this thing. So, um, so yeah, I didn't lose much. So. I guess I'm done for now. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, we're, I'm gonna have some travel videos uh, with this, which the first one might be the, this weekend to Talladega. So uh, if not, um, I'm definitely gonna be doing one uh, either to Massachusetts to see my family or uh, somewhere else. Uh, and then the, possibly in the spring where uh, I'm looking at possibly getting on the trail so we'll see it's all up in the air but we'll see how life goes and um anyway so i hope everyone's well i hope everyone stayed safe from the storm and um yeah we'll see you next time oh wait if i don't see you before i hope to see you in heaven god bless